part three. Welcome to proof video number 13, Mobile Hazard Penalty. The point of this video is to show that there is a penalty for colliding with what I'm calling mobile hazards. It's the things that move around on the course, like Goombas and so forth. In this case, I'm doing the penguins. And I'm going to crash with the penguins four times and see what happens. See if it, there's a penalty at all and if I end up getting two stars. And of course, we already know the answer. I am going to get two stars. And we're going to find out that's because crashing into a mobile hazard is a penalty, just like crashing into a stationary hazard, fixed hazard as I call it. But the thing that's uh, different about this is the length of the penalty is actually different. Uh, it's going to be a four and a half second penalty as opposed to a three and a half second penalty for the fixed hazard. So uh, in this video I'm going to just miss the adjusted maximum time after I get my four. and. 13a, the supplemental video, is where I'm going to prove that they're four and a half seconds each. Okay, there's my first collision. So between the two, uh, we'll make the argument that they're four and a half seconds each, kind of like I did with uh, proof two and three when I was proving the wall collisions. We're 17 and a half seconds for five and four. And this one's going to be 18 seconds for four. So the magic time's going to be 2.42. That's the time I need to just miss and just make to prove the collisions with the penguins are four and a half seconds. Now, even though I am proving that this uh, collisions with the mobile hazard, as I call it, is uh, four and a half seconds for hitting a penguin, I can't make this argument that every mobile hazard is the same and everything moving is the same. For example, for example the uh, giant piranha plants, whatever they're called in uh, Luigi Stadium that slide out, uh, that seems to be a fixed hazard even though they're moving. Um, it's hitting a bat the same penalty length, I have no idea. And what about on short courses? Do they lessen the penalty a little bit? or Because you know, these are three minute courses, they seem the penalty is a little greater. I haven't been able to prove all the others and I don't think I ever will. I do know that it matters on other races because I've done enough races where I've seen that it, you know, tested, where I've run into stuff, and where I made it and not made it, but I haven't gone to the lengths that I did on uh, the Banana Cup of finding all the maximum times and measuring and avoiding all the other factors and everything that I've done in this. I mean, I've spent hours and hours doing this Banana Cup to figure these things out. So I haven't done it on other cups, so if somebody else wants to go out there and start working on other cups, that would be awesome, because I'm not going to pursue all that. I might pursue some maximum times on some other cups, but I'm not going to test all the penalties. Um, even though I am really curious about hitting like bats or cows or the cars up through highway, highway fight out the length, I, I don't know if I'll ever get to it. So, but here we go. 42 remembers the magic time, and I just missed it. That's the magic time with uh, 13A if you want to watch it. But this one definitely proves that hitting a uh, penguin is a penalty. Whether or not you believe it's uh, four and a half seconds each right now or not, that doesn't make a difference. I have proved it's a penalty when you get to the end of the race and I get two stars because the next three races are all three star quality. So you can watch these next three races if you want and just verify that they are three star quality. And, uh, otherwise, like I said, down in the video description I have the link to either go to proof number 14 or you can go to 13A supplement. Thanks again for watching.